All right, so today we are actually going to be checking out the Speedy B FDQ Discharger. Let me just tell you what it is, what it does, and why you might want it to get one. Let's get going. Okay, so the Speedy B Discharger is basically a device that will allow you to plug in your 3S to 6S LiPo and convert the energy out via a USB-C cable. So now you can use the power to charge up your cell phone or other device for either small or LiPos. So to operate the charger is pretty simple. You can just plug in your XT60 plug. You can see this is a regular 6S LiPo that we are have sitting on the bench. Okay, just plug it in like this. And then there's an extension cable that is actually going to be coming with the Speedy B discharger. All you needed to do is plug it in. And then the side goes to the charger itself. And then you plug in a USB-C cable on the top of the ports. And the other side just goes directly to your cell phone. Okay, and after a few seconds, you can see that this is actually charging up your device. So very, very nice. So the operation of this charger is very simple and you do have different output options by plugging in different LiPos. So if you plug in a 6S LiPo, you're gonna get about 60 watts of output. And if you plug in the 4S LiPo, you're gonna get about 40 watts of output. If you plug in the 3S LiPo, you're gonna get 30 watts of output. So on the website, it doesn't say 5S. So I will assume that based on this sequence, probably if you plug in a 5S, you should get about 50 watts. But None of us generally use 5S, so I don't think that applies. So the reason I mentioned this is I want you to pay attention to ensure that the device you're trying to charge can at least handle the higher output before plugging it in. Besides of this, another important function is that the discharger is also programmable, so you can set it up to stop a certain volt per cell to prevent over discharging of our original LiPo. So it's pretty, pretty good to use this as a, like to discharge your fully charged LiPo to store a charge. So in order to program this, you can see that there is a gear button right here. If you just press it one time, you can see that it's basically going to be showing you the cell level from each, the, the voltage level from each cell. But if you wanted to start programming how the charger stops at a certain level, all you needed to do is to long press the gear button. You can see that right now the number is actually blinking. This is an indication that Right now, the charger is set to 3.8, so which means the charger should automatically stop once each cell reaches, uh, the discharge reaches 3.8. So 3.8 is pretty good for storage charge. So if you wanted to change this value, very simple, just use those two buttons to like switch up and down. So I believe the lowest that we can go is about 3.5, I believe, or 3.4, let's just press it. Okay, actually the lowest you can go is to 3.6. And the highest, let's press it. Okay, so the highest is actually 4.15. So, okay, so what we wanted to do is set this to storage charge because I'm using this a lot to just to store a charge my LiPo. So, you know, the, at least the energy is just not wasted. Okay, so once you're done setting this up, all you needed to do is long press the gear button and basically it's set up to stop at 4.3.8. Also, one thing I observe is that once the charger is reaching the designated storage charge value at 3.8, it's actually going to stop and give you like a really loud beep message and show an error code. Don't worry, the error code is actually designed to say that the charger is just stopping. So it's not actually an error, it's just how it was designed to stop the charger. So yep, if you see that, just don't worry about it. All right, so besides the gear button, let's actually look at the power button. So the power button, you can just short press. You can see that this is going to be uh, how much total voltage add up for the six cell. So this is about the max voltage currently that is on the entire LiPo. And this, this is how many volts that is actually going out of this thing. So we're getting about 8.4 volts. And this is, I believe, it's going to be the current. Another thing that you wanted to pay attention is that if you wanted to power off this charger with the LiPo plug-in, you can use this power button. All you need to do is just alone press it, and it's going to shut off. And if you actually need to power up the charger again after you power it down, you will unfortunately have to unplug the LiPo and plug it back in. So I don't know why this was designed like this, but hey, this is how it was you can see that, yeah, you just require it to be doing like this. All right, so this is basically all the things I think you need to know about how to operate this LiPo discharger. And you can see that there is essentially no learning curve. It's really simple. It's a plug and play. 
Now let's actually talk about why you might want to get one of this, this charger on your bench. So for me, the biggest issue on my work desk is that the LiPo battery management. I often charge up too many LiPos thinking I will be using them, but end up leaving most of them too low, fully charged and eventually shorting the lifespan of the LiPo. I also have a weird methodology thinking if I discharge my fully charged LiPo just using my bench LiPo charger, you know, I'm just wasting the energy as the energy is just essentially gone by becoming heat and it's just not going anywhere, just kind of wasted. And not to mention the process is just super slow and I just don't have the time to sit alone the, waiting for the discharging to be per, like complete. You might say, why not just go fly and use up the batteries? Well, maybe you can, but for me as a father with a six year month old child and a full-time job living in the city, finding time to fly, it's just super challenging. So the SpeedyB discharger makes a lot of sense for me right now. I can just take it with me to anywhere I go and use it to charge up my phone device and at the same time discharge all my fully charged LiPo and increase the lifespan. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is that the discharger is only about 20 bucks and you can get cheaper if you buy it on AliExpress. So if you buy it at the right time, I think I got mine for like about 10 bucks. So, all right. So if you'd like to check out the SpeedyB FDQ discharger, I leave the link below at the description for your quick reference. All right, so same as usual, any questions, please feel free to let me know at the comment sections. And if you like the things I've been doing, please kind of help me to like and subscribe this video. So I will see you in the next one. Happy flying. Bye for now.